A Suitable Boy is a massive yet intimate saga of four interwoven families across northern India in the year 1951, four years after Indian independence from the British. At the core of the story lies a very simple, ordinary family, a widowed mother trying to find the suitable boy for her daughter. It's essentially about the journey of India coming into its own, along with a personal journey of, of these characters, namely Lata and parallelly Man. He has a very rocky journey through the show. It's an extraordinary tale of love and friendship. At its heart, uh, A Suitable Boy is about Lata, a young woman in her early 20s who is the unmarried girl in a, in a family. Ma, you mustn't cry on Savita's wedding day. Our story on one level is the journey of Lata finding herself, finding her own voice, finding love, and being, being loved. Lata! What are you doing? Lata and her mother share a very love-hate relationship where they'll push each other towards the edge. Come inside this minute, you have to get dressed for your sister's wedding. Coming, Ma. It's about finding the right boy for this young girl, the right partner for this young girl who is coming of age at a time when there is a lot of turbulence in uh, her personal life and also in the country surrounding her. Lata and her mother's Ideas of marriage and love are very different. Rupa feels that Lata will do well in life once she's married. You too will marry a boy I choose. Hmm. But Lata has her own ideas about love and marriage. So Lata falls in love with a very unsuitable boy according to her mother, that is Kabir Durrani, who is a Muslim. In that period, just after partition, for a Hindu to be involved with the Muslim or vice versa was just um, too loaded. Kabir is a, this extremely passionate guy. How about a coffee? Tata's passion is what takes her there and she's never felt that before. It's about whether they end up together, whether he is the suitable boy because there are some other boys who are suitable as well. Tell me. Why haven't we met before? Then we go on to Amit, who, much like Lata, shares a world of literature and books. I've never seen Amit like this with a girl before. He's Oxford educated, he's a lawyer. He comes back to India and he decides to write poetry. He meets Lata, who comes from a small town, Brampur. He loves being with her. So as the series goes on, he falls more and more in love with her. Then we come on to Harish, who, according to Lata, is the most unsuitable of all. He is, uh, by profession, a cobbler. Initially, there is no relationship. But age difference, also the time period that we are talking about, um, it's, it's very hesitant. She finds herself and him uh, both sort of like aligning with each other. There is something which is grounding them, something which is telling them that, that this, this could be right the three possible suitors, each of them is different. The question is, how does she make up her own mind or is her mind made up for her? And to what extent has she grown up during the course of the television series? The other strand of love in this is that of a young wastrel. His name is Man. He's a very passionate young man somebody who is functioning on his own rhythm. He doesn't care much for convention. His father's not very, um, he thinks it's very like unbecoming of his younger son. He doesn't uh, follow um, the rules and is not very disciplined. There's no denying that he loves his son. I was hoping you'd be a man by now, able to stand on your own two feet. There have been one or two unforeseen expenses. A very large part of Man's journey is about him falling in love with Saida. She inhabits a very different world than the world of the other characters. She's a courtesan, musician, singer. Uh, she has a world of her own. That really throws everything and every relationship out of balance in his life. 
For me, it's a very interesting character study because it sees a lot of merit in like, you know, enjoying life to the fullest. What interests me, besides the affairs of the human heart, is the interweaving of the personal story of Lata and her family uh, with the political story of our country finding its own voice. I would like the audiences to be thrilled and moved and also to learn something about what India has gone through in the last 50, 60, 70 years.